Okay, guys, part D. For that interval, find all the intervals for which g of x is less than 0, less than or equal to 0, okay? Um, so that's the problem. I can borrow a little bit from my last thing, okay? Um, as I told you before, um, g of x equals 0 when x equals um, 2, okay? x equals 2. So, g of x um, is less than or equal to 0 when, so if I look up here in this table, negative 2 meant negative 8, okay? So, um, if you look here, guys, so I'm going positive, okay? So I'm positive here. At 6, you can see from this table, at 6, I'm at 8. So from 2 forward, I'm going positive g equals 8, g of 6 equals 8, okay? I'm still positive, but I'm subtracting. At this point, g of 10 equals 0, okay? Anything after 10, I'm going to be less than 0. So, so when um, I'm, between, I'm between 10 and 12, okay? So between 10 and 12, you can see it from, from here, okay? And then going backwards. It's zero here. So as soon as I start going backwards, I'm negative. I'm negative. I get to negative eight. So g of negative two equals negative eight. This starts to add um, area because it's below the line and I'm going backwards, but it never adds enough to overcome that. So I'm also uh, less than zero from negative four all the way up to two. So that's the answer. Um, that's what they give in the solution, and they give you two points for that, probably one point for each interval. So, so part C kind of helped you with part D, D in terms of seeing the areas. Again, you got to know how to interpret these graphs when they give you areas. Moving forward, positive areas if you're above the line, negative areas if you're below the line. Going backwards, things above the x-axis are negative things below the x-axis are positive, okay? And you, you got to really figure out the starting point. That was kind of the hardest part of this problem, figuring out when uh, the interval starts at zero, and that's when x equals two. So that's it. Um, I'll post this with the solution as part of the notes.